Hey everyone, my name is Toby and this is my 1995 Subaru Legacy L wagon. The car was bought new in June of 1995 by my dad and it's actually been in the family ever since. Uh, the car has lived most of its life in the Pacific Northwest. Although it did take a short stint in uh, New York and Ithaca for a couple of years uh, under my sister's possession. But a uh, really cool story. The car's been kind of passed on through the generations. My mom drove it up until about 2004. I drove it for a couple years. Sister had it for a few years and then actually my youngest brother had it for a couple years as well. So really cool story with the car. I started rebuilding the car back in December of 2014. Uh, the car has lived definitely what I would call a cat's life, about nine lives. Um, it got totaled uh, actually in a couple of different accidents and actually got stolen back in 2009 um, in Seattle here under my sister's possession. Recovered about six months later um, and since I've taken possession of the car I've replaced every single body panel on the car with the exception of the roof skin and actually this driver's side rear quarter panel. So the hood, both the front fenders, all four doors, and then the passenger side rear quarter panel, the hatch and the rear bumper um, have all been redone. So big, big changes there. Um, obviously you can see the car is pretty modified. Uh, it has a full complete JDM front clip. So the projector headlights, the uh, Koki uh, later iteration front bumper with the glass dual stage fog lights, uh, Sims Racing front grille, GT hood. The wheels are some of my favorite part of this car. They're SSR type C semi-solid forged wheels, 17 by seven and a half offset of 50. Um, super lightweight, I think they're under 14 pounds a piece. They're wrapped in brand new Sumatumo HTR Z3s. The car has uh, four piston WRX uh, or version five STI. Uh, raised lettering calipers uh, on WRX rotors. It's got the clear side markers, uh, GT side skirts, slim JDM door trim, the arrow guards, I might have just mentioned that. It has the cool 95 only um, manual folding mirrors, so only available in 95 in the US. And then for window tint, I did 45% up front, 35% for all the rest of the windows. GT rear bumper lip, slim door trim, I might have already mentioned that. Coming to the back, it's got a uh, OEM Subaru RFRB rear spoiler with the integrated LED taillight, which is kind of a nice feature. It has a Honda Pilot rear wiper arm, kind of gives it a nice updated look. And it's got the Kogi or the later model smoke taillights. It has the factory uh, OEM uh, brushed aluminum uh, door pole or the hatch pole. Um, let's see what else. TS Type R badge, kind of the probably closest thing to this thing in Japan. It has an SPT OEM Subaru Legacy uh, GT exhaust. Uh, let's see factory rain guards. And actually, I had these um, these bad boys repainted because they were getting kind of old as well as the as the the door the the trim there on the roof um so really cool story with this car just really just in love with it um recently though the car went under a auto to manual swap so opening the car up it has oh sorry my finger uh it has the uh brushed aluminum uh, it's actually bh5 so third gen uh aluminum door sills it has um factory TS type R seats in the front and the back and then actually the matching door cards which is something kind of fun different uh, I thought the factory interior on the US cars were just totally junk so I wanted to get rid of it um, it's got a factory uh, Subaru Momo wood grain wheel which kind of matches these cool super 90s <laughs> window trim and or uh, window switch trim and center console trim. This is from a 99 only. I forgot to put it in, but I actually I have in the back a brand new um, cup holder for the car too. So the car just went under an auto to manual swap. Uh, 
kind of just a factory nothing shift knob it's got a redline goods shift boot um, really love those guys love the just the light blue contrast stitching and then down low I went with WRX pedals the transmission itself is out of a 2000 Legacy GT, so it's a 411 with a limited slip differential. So really short gears, really fun. I actually got a brand new carpet set for the car which I just installed. And even though these floor mats are just a year old, they're already looking tired. So maybe I'll get a new set again. Um, nothing special for the stereo, but overall love this interior, really fun. The seats, unlike the US ones have a split fold for the rear seat as well. So these headrests integrate into the back of the seat as well. So pretty cool. So you can decide if you want to lay something flat on that side or not. Let's see. So the trunk, also got some cool pieces back here, pardon all my stuff. Um, so this has a uh, OEM Subaru cargo bin with these guys. These guys come up in and out. Really love that piece. Found that off Craigslist actually. Um, it's got the OEM trunk mat and the carpeted mat as well. Uh, found this bad boy too. That was missing when I got the car back. You can see it's got a Cusco rear strut tower bar for some suspension goodies okay I'll do my best here underneath the car the car has a bunch of new suspension goodies I'll try to highlight so uh, white line 22 millimeter adjustable rear sway bar legacy specific um, white line alloy rear end links um, some rear diff bushings stiffen the car up a little bit those are made by carboy And under the hood, nothing crazy here. The car still has the factory engine, 220,000 miles now. So it's got Prova hood struts, as you can see. Uh, Cusco front strut tower bar. Um, the car is completely factory. I haven't really done anything uh, to modify the engine at all. Uh, SPT battery tie down, SPT oil cap. Um, really no oil leaks this valve cover is just seeping ever so slightly but there's some blow by so i think i'll just keep it the way it is um until it really starts to leak again i don't know how many times the valve covers have done on, been done on this car but it's a lot um what else up front it's got uh bh5 aluminum uh control arms uh it's got a white line anti-lift kit uh white line uh what am i trying to say here uh White line anti lift cut, uh, white line 22 millimeter front sway bar, uh, white line front alloy end links, and then a, a white line bump steer correction kit as well. So um, the car is just set up right now, handles super nice on these tires. Again, this is kind of my passion project and my baby. Love this car. Obviously, I know not everyone would do it just the way I did it, but uh, really, really happy with the car. Thanks for watching.